comets for kids. When you look up at the night sky and see all the twinkling stars, do you ever wonder what else is up there? You know there's a moon. You also know that there are planets. But did you know that there are other objects in the sky as well? One of those objects is called a comet. So, what exactly is a comet? A comet is a type of space rock. Though they are bright, comets in the outer part of the solar system are too small to be seen from Earth. Usually only astronomers with high-powered telescopes can see those comets as they pass through our solar system. The comets that are closer to Earth can be seen with the regular telescope. It is rare, but it's sometimes a comet is bright enough to be seen without a telescope. You might even be lucky enough to see a comet as bright or even brighter than the brightest stars. If you get a chance to see one of those, it will be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. What is a comet made of? Comets are chunks of dust and ice that travel around the sun. People sometimes call comets dirty snowballs. If you pick up a chunk of icy snow in the street, you can discover bits of gravel and dirt in it. That's kind of what a comet in the sky looks like. Comets have an icy middle, which is made up of water and gases that are frozen. They are mixed with bits of rock and metal and are covered by a layer of black dust. When a comet gets close to the sun, the heat from the sun causes the ice to melt and change into a gas. Dust particles spread out around the center of the comet or the nucleus. These dust particles create a cloud at the head of the comet, called a comma. Comets are pretty cool because they don't just shine as one big ball like a star does. Comets have tails, and these tails shine too. In fact, the tail of a comet is actually the most visible part of a comet. The sun shining on the comet is what causes it to glow. The tails are called dust tails and ion tails. Some tails can be millions of miles long. The tails are made up of gases and tiny dust particles that are blown away from the nucleus by solar wind. How are comets formed? Particles of dust coated with water, ice, and other molecules are the beginning of a comet. When the dust particles combine, it's kind of like Legos that keep getting stacked on top of each other. Eventually, the combined dust particles form icy rocks. Gravity then pulls those icy rocks together, and you get a comet. Where do comets come from? Comets come from two places in the solar system. The first place is called the Kuiper Belt. The Kuiper Belt is just beyond the orbit of Neptune. The second place is called the Oort Cloud. This region is farther out than the Kuiper Belt, so comets from this region take longer to orbit the Sun. Are there any famous comets? You betcha! Halley's Comet is one of the most famous comets. This comet is visible about once every 75 years. Scientists predict that it will next be visible in the year 2061. Famous writer Mark Twain once said that he was born on the day that Halley's Comet passed by and that he would die when it returned. Sure enough, he died 74 years later just one day after Halley's Comet came back. Hale-Bopp is another famous comet. Some people from California once believed this comet was a spacecraft. Shoemaker-Levy 9 was a string of comets that was captured by Jupiter's gravity. These comets began to orbit around Jupiter instead of the Sun. During the week of July 16, 1994, those comets crashed into Jupiter while astronomers worldwide watched the incredible sight. A major comet that can be seen from Earth only happens about once every five to 10 years. So when you hear about one, 
Make sure you are there to see it. It will be worth the wait. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.